the reference to the other world happened in the Old Kingdom by pointing out to the other afterlife celestial world, then in the coffin stacks in the Middle Kingdom, and finally the picture was completed in the New Kingdom through many religious books that spread since the New Kingdom and till the Ptolemic period. These different religious books were treasures decorating the walls and ceilings of the tombs and the sides and the covers of the wooden and stone coffins. They were also recorded on the religious papyrus rolls throughout the various eras. These books are considered our most important sources of the nature of the afterlife as the ancient Egyptian imagined it and through which we can form a complete picture about the nature of that world and the journey of the deceased in it and the difficulties which he expects to encounter during his journey in it. The ancient Egyptian imagined the universe composed of three areas which are the sky and the earth and the back sky or the nether world. He imagined the sky pet lying over the ground Ta and it has an equal that lies under the ground known as the nether world or Nenenet which is one of the names of that kingdom that lies under the ground the kingdom of the dead known as Duat. The world of the living lies in between the boundaries of that universe for it's bounded by the earth in the lower part and the sky on top and inside it the cycle of the daily life happens and is connected with the sunrise and the sunset. 